failure sometimes can be the best thing in the world. Failure can actually help make goals that you have in your life. Failure can actually even help you be successful. There have been some very successful failures, <clears throat> and we all have heard, we've heard of, we've heard of all these people. And they looked at failure as not a reason to give up. They looked at failure as a reason to be determined to strengthen themselves to pursue their goals, to pursue their dreams. Failure can, I mean, it's hard. It, it hurts sometimes. It's, it makes us want to like, what's the use? It just doesn't seem to work. Sometimes successful people fail more than once. I, I would probably guess almost every successful person fails more than once. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is probably the best basketball player to ever play the game. I guess you would call him a goat, greatest of all times. Michael Jordan has had when he played, probably still, <laughs> he has some amazing skills. Had amazing ball handling skills when he played probably pretty much his whole career. When he was a sophomore in high school, he tried out for the varsity team. He was five foot eleven. And for a sophomore, you know, that was probably a little bit on the tall side. Maybe well maybe not, but kind of average. He was told that he was too short for the varsity team. And so they, they didn't take him. They didn't look at his skills. They didn't look at his abilities. They only looked at his height and said, You're not tall enough. We don't want you. So he went and he got on the junior varsity team. He started to improve his game and improve his skills. And because he wasn't taken as a member of the varsity team, it motivated him to become better, to use his skills. Even though his height may not have been an advantage at that point, he knew his skills could be. And so he worked really hard and he became the star of his junior varsity team. I think. That year, he ended up growing like four inches, and then he made the varsity team, and you know, the rest is kind of history. Michael Jordan is probably the greatest basketball player pretty much ever. You can buy tennis shoes named after him. The Air Jordans, very, very famous shoes. He made a lot of money off of those, too. Albert Einstein, <clears throat> excuse me, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, probably one of the smartest men to have ever lived was expelled from grade school. And if you read the stories, he wasn't really expelled because he wasn't smart. He was expelled because he wouldn't pay attention. He was expelled because he disrupted the class. He didn't respect authority. Um, caused a lot of problems. And the teacher said, because he doesn't respect authority, he doesn't belong in this school. Actually, kicked out of school. Doesn't belong in this school. They didn't look at his abilities. They didn't understand how smart he was. They just said, because of his behavior, he didn't belong here. Albert Einstein later became known as, I don't know, what was he, what was he known, known as? The founder of the theory of relativity. Um, introduced to us theories about the speed of light and all kinds of things that we use still today. One of the brightest men to ever live on this earth. And ended up being extremely successful because of the mind he had. Walt Disney. Walt Disney was fired from one of his first jobs for not being creative enough. He worked for a newspaper. And because the publisher didn't think he was creative enough, they fired him. And so then he went and started his first studio and it went bankrupt. He couldn't make a go of it. But this is Walt Disney. You know the Walt Disney of Mickey and Minnie Mouse? Yeah, that Walt Disney. Disneyland, Disney World, all of those things. 
he didn't take the fact that he was labeled as not being creative enough to hold a job with a newspaper and the fact that his first earliest studio went bankrupt. He didn't he didn't say, well, what's the use I'm going to give up? He No, he had a dream. He had Mickey. He had Mickey in his head. And Mickey has become an icon. Walt Disney ended up being nominated for 50 Academy Awards. 50. And he won 32 of them. Henry Ford. Henry Ford's first company went bankrupt. And his second company went bankrupt. Auto automobile companies. They went bankrupt. Third time around was a charm, I guess. Third time's a charm. Henry Ford is known as the guy who pretty much invented uh, the production line, mass producing similar products, and has really turned the industrial age around in this country. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was defeated in election for state legislator early in his life. He failed to receive the nomination for Congress when he wanted to run for Congress. He lost the election for a Senate seat twice. But then he was elected the 16th president of the United States. None of those failures, none of those losses held him back because he knew he was here to serve. He knew he had a higher goal. He knew he had a higher purpose and he pursued that. If you're determined to succeed, success happens so very often because of defeat. Success can bolster your ability. It can steal your determination to overcome. So, you need to use that determination to show people. To show them that you have what it takes. And we've got a train over here that's coming. But that haven't, hasn't happened in a really long time. They're going to blow their horn. You can show people that you can get it done because you're determined. It doesn't matter if you got defeated. It doesn't matter if you failed. It doesn't matter if you went bankrupt. Use that to determine you to succeed and prove yourself. Don't let failure deter you. Let it be the cause that you have that determines you. I'll wait on the train. I love trains. My grandkids love trains. Don't let failure deter you. You may fail, you may try, you may fail. Get up and try again. Be like Abraham Lincoln. Keep trying until you reach the pinnacle. Be like Henry Ford. So what if you go bankrupt twice? Use that to build up your determination to succeed. Don't let failure deter you. Let it cause you to be determined to succeed. That's what failure and, and defeat is all about. Not deterrence, but determination. So that's your Wednesday wisdom. Look at these people in the past. Look at the lives they live. We know them as a successful person in these big, amazing people. But their lives were filled with failure. Their lives were filled with bankruptcy, challenges. Albert Einstein got kicked out of school. It doesn't matter what happens to you as long as you learn from it and are determined to move on so that you can reach the goals and the dreams that you have. So this is middle of the week Wednesday. If you've had some failures already this year, I mean we're just just past a month into this year. If things haven't gone right, okay, get up and try again. You can try again, take another path, go a different way, whatever you have to do, try again. Keep trying because eventually you'll succeed. I'm Mark Schinner coming to you from the porch with the train over here today with your Wednesday wisdom. Have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.